What's up, everybody? We are back with another unboxing. I was really fortunate to receive one of these devices after hearing a lot of my friends talk about them. Uh, this is the Cricut Pocket Dab Rig by Evolve Vapor, who is out of the USA. So if you've watched any of my channels, you've heard me talk about Made in the USA a little bit. It's something that's really important to me and that I try and really look for in the products that I support. And this was really crazy to see a battery concentrate device that was not made overseas. Here we are with the Cricut. We're going to go ahead and open this thing up and uh, show you what's inside. It came in this plastic box, which is okay. It looks very retail-ish at a price point of $400. I almost wish that it had come in a little bit of a nicer box and had like a case of some sort. Um, but you know, nice nonetheless all right so inside we have the device we have some little things all right let's see take this out of here oh my lord this thing is heavy all right i that excites me i know that's not exciting for a lot of people but that makes me feel like this device is like sturdy and well made uh, all right so you got the rest of the packaging it's okay again I kind of wish 400 bucks. I wish there was a little sleeve or case or something. You know, even just like a sunglasses microfiber case would have been real cool. Cricut Pocket Dab Rig. Smooth and flavorful. Built-in puck and dab tool. Heats in one second. One degree temp adjust. 50 to 100 puffs per charge. Wow, that seems... Uh, is this a proxy killer? Am I unboxing something that's going to make me sell my proxy? Is that what's happening right now? I just got excited, people. If this makes me get rid of my proxy, I don't know what I'm going to do. But this is made in the U.S. and it's a dab device and it does 50 to 100 puffs per charge. Oh, all right. Let's keep going. Includes dab tool, five pucks, two glass chimneys, USB-C, made in USA. I love that so much. With DNA technology. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so uh, DNA technology. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with the uh, Nick World or Box Mods, I know DNA chips are one of the more prevalent ones on the more cutting edge of that world's uh, technologies. So that's really cool to see in here. Moving on. We got a little bag. Let's see what's in here. Okay, looks like we have some sort of tool thing I'm not real sure what this is made out of looks like plastic maybe an allen wrench it's an interesting one to get and a USB-C cable I have tons of these goodbye and then these colorful little doodads are these little dab containers I think they are let's take a look yeah it is a little that is <laughs> I wonder what these I wonder what that is okay all right, here we go. We're gonna put that back. We're gonna keep keep moving. Don't get distracted, Moo. So you got your instructions here. Nice little instructions. They seem to be pretty thorough. One important one, it looks like they really want you to recognize is uh, if you read one thing from this manual, make sure it's this. You must pre-melt dab. Do not overfill the tub. As much as you want to pack the device, which is much, with as much concentrate as possible, a BB-sized dab is the perfect amount. Overfilling will degrade the Cricut's performance. Standard BB, 0.173 inch diameter. I mean, you know, to be honest, that is uh, pretty close to a dab I would usually take. I'm not really part of that half gram glob crew, so I'm into it. Also in the bag... We have a glass mouthpiece thing. That's nice that they give you an extra. I mean, for a premium device, I really do expect stuff like that. So it is good to see that they give you a glass mouthpiece. Now, on to the device. Wow, dude, this thing is really weighty. This is, this is great. I like how heavy this device is. USB-C. It's got some nice 
tactile buttons on there. Looks like locked fire four times. Okay, that's good to see. Take the cap off. Okay, that's where it looks like the glass chamber goes. And you pull off this little rubber thing to get into there. Get that glass chamber out. Oh, it looks like the glass goes all the way to the top. So that's a nice full glass air path. I bet this thing is tasty. All right, well, here's what the Allen key is for. Looks like you can replace the bowl, which is nice. I'll have to check out on the website how much the bowls are. That's a pretty strong magnet. So they give you the tools that, that you need to take this thing apart. Pretty cool. And then uh, looks like down here you have a dab tool situation. And oh, <laughs> this is where those little buckets go. Okay. So they give you a couple different color options and replacements. I guess that's you can put concentrates there. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I would keep concentrates there, but you can for sure do it. And then the dab tool. Oh, the dab tool comes off. That's pretty neat. Oh, I see. So you can take the dab tool off, scoop up your dab out of the container and put it in the device. And then from what I saw in that yellow uh, warning they gave you, the head of this tool is going to be the size of the dab that you want to take. And that's got a nice, satisfying click magnet as well. I mean, the craftsmanship on this thing is pretty amazing, to be honest. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one. Oh, that's cool. It counts down for you. Cap off. 90. 190 Fahrenheit. Okay, so this is what it was saying. So basically, let's see if it registers that. Okay. So when you put the cap on, oh, interesting, it has a temperature. So that's your dab temperature, and you can adjust that up or down. So we're going to go 490. Why not? Seems like a good temp. That's usually where I go on the lower end. And then I pop the cap off, and it says 190, and I can adjust that temperature as well. All right, that's cool. We're not going to go too far into messing around with this thing. Uh, this is an unboxing. I still have a lot to learn. But if that's it, and that's pretty much what this is, is an easy device. So now that we've gone over all the things and looked at kind of just the general what's in the box, let's go ahead and give this device a go. So it says cap off. And again, just to reiterate, you pull the cap off, and this is your temperature to melt the dab. And you're supposed to melt the dab before you hit it. So I'm going to do my melt temperature at 190. I'm going to use the dab tool on here. Why not? So then I got my BB-sized concentrate on there. And we'll just go ahead and get that on there, get that in the bowl. My hot knife would probably be good for this, just to drop it in there. Put that back in there. Okay, and then it says to melt the dab. So I'm just going to hold the fire button. Oh, there it goes. It did melt. Wow, that was a quick little just two-second button press. It melted the dab in there real well. Put the cap on. <coughs> wow that tasted great <coughs> wow that tasted really really good pull the cap off just to give it a little look on the inside you can see it pooled in the bottom of the bucket there pretty well I'll put the cap on and I'm actually going to drop it down to 475 because that last one felt a little hot I'm still getting used to this device so I can tell there's going to be some experimenting with the temperature That's some pretty good flavor off this thing. I'm definitely going to have to dial it in to see if I can chuck clouds out of it. But as far as first impressions and unboxing go, this is a really good first impression. For a battery vape made in the U.S., the craftsmanship feels really good. I like this carbon fiber front. This is going to be a really fun device to play around with. So to clean it, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with the cap off. 
since it has that cap off temperature, I'm just going to hold the button, let it heat up, stick my Q-tip in there, and just kind of get all that out of there. That was really easy to clean. Looks like I got the majority out of it in just one or two passes. All right. Well, easy peasy lemon squeezy. The Cricket by Evolve Vapor. Thanks for watching another unboxing and stay lifted. Uh -huh.